Hi guys, I just done a bit of uh, warm up for my legs. I done a, a squats from squats with the with the bands. Uh, I done single uh, what I what I use a single kettlebell uh, deadlifts, single leg kettlebell uh, deadlifts. And now I want to show you uh, how to do squats. Everybody is different. Everybody got slightly different leverage. Everybody got slightly different body alignment. The most important thing you have to know yourself. I will show you the basics and what you can do for yourself. And here we go. Okay, guys, like I did explain you last time what you have to do. I like to go slightly wider, slightly wider stand, uh, slightly wider than my shoulders. And for myself, because I got too much curve in my lower back, I have to contract my core, push my pelvic from this position to this, like tilt my pelvic up and then to save my lower back. From this position, I like to go, if I'm lifting with heavy weights, go to slide to the side and then stay focused on my knees. My knees want to drive first and then I will sink with my hips. Some people prefer to go with the hips back, but again, this is basics for myself and I hope so this will help you as well. The knees will go outside here and boom. Many people got problem with staying in this position and then leaning forward. Sometimes because they got really tight Achilles tendons or weak core or they just got bad, bad habits. From this position, I want to push from my heels up and push. Okay, I'll show from guys. Exactly the same stance, slightly wider than your shoulders. And again, everybody's different. Try to find the right stand for yourself. Knees outside first, pushing your knees, not this way, but at the same time, when you're pushing your knees, try to like sink with your hips down. So, like I said before, some people prefer to push this, but naturally, if some people got tight Achilles tendons, weak core, weak lower back, the body will go forward right away. This is quite common problem with people with disalignment in the spine or they get bad posture or something else is going on yes for me boom contracting pushing pushing my knees outside nice you don't have to go first time you don't have to go so low like me you know this is just good to stretch first time but with heavy weights this will be slightly harder front squat if you're keeping, keeping like maybe dumbbell or kettlebell doesn't matter, will be much more easy than when you're keeping the bar, because bar will pull you forward, you know. Boom, and again, press the floor down. Like imagine you want to push the floor, and then pushing the floor up, push your hips forward. Down, and push. One more time, guys. Boom, and push. Keep all the time the tension in your core, and think, don't go too much. Because this can put the pressure, again, I'll give you an example with myself. If somebody got disalignment, like maybe my disalignment, uh, like scoliosis, uh, hyperlordosis, which is too much curve in your lower back, like me, like almost like a dumb boom, like a duck boom, going back, yes? Push this forward, and again, stay focused. To active proper squats, you want to go lower lower than your niche, you know. Sometimes in powerlifting competition, that's fine. But for me, I like to go slightly lower and then push up to feel the activation as much as you can. If you got problem with this, you can push anything like maybe book under your heels and see maybe that's your Achilles tendons, uh, tendon and you see if you're improving by that. Well guys, now I'll show you with the front weight, I'll use my uh, kettlebell here and again going down, push, down, push, down, push, breathe in, I mean breathe in in this position, in, tight your core and breathe out. Good job guys. Just remember, your body will behave slightly different because everybody is different. I know many PTs telling you, do your squats and then sometimes go forward with your knees. If your body is ready for this, that's fine. But sometimes we got problem with the knees, we are afraid to damage the knees 
and that will be this style of squats will be the best option push your knee and then sink I don't have any pressure on my knee here and push up here front like if I push my knee forward like this boom slightly more pressure you can improve this but you can't do this over the night you have to stay focused on this what you're doing you have to work on it okay guys if you got any question let me know boom one more thing because I forgot about this uh, in my previous clip there um, how to improve as well squats you can use the chair you can use the the stairs like mine here and I will show you now how you can use the stairs uh, to get this motion here this will be like a, almost like a bo uh, box squat exactly the same position of your legs slightly wider stand and you want to sit on the stairs boom touch the stairs and boom this will be even you will feel much more safe with this boom sit and up sit and up when you're feeling you're leaning forward try to adjust yourself slightly up push your chest up keep your uh, uh, spine in the right alignment and then push up push from your heels up and push okay guys this will improve your squat but if you want to improve your flexibility I was showing you this before go in push down knees in uh, I mean elbows inside of your knees and press the knees outside yeah it's almost like a prey here I will show you from this position here and push and try to stay 30 seconds first time maybe 20 to 30 seconds and then you can go down 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 with your hips and then you will see how your hips is dropping down keeping this spine in the right alignment boom Hoop -ba. Hoop. see you next time boom